Hi friends, so we'll discuss about some TTTS that is twin to twin transfusion syndrome in monochorionic twins. Now, uh, first of all, you need to know about monochorionic twins. What is monochorionism? That means that there is only one single placenta, right? Only one placenta. But from that one placenta, different people getting their blood supply. That means in case of twins, two different fetuses getting their blood supply or getting their life support from that single placenta. But if it is triplets, it can be three fetuses getting supply from the same placenta, right? Now, I'm talking about the chorionicity. That means the placenta is same, but both of the fetuses have, may have their own amnions. That means Although there is single placenta, but it can be diamniotic or it can be monoamniotic. So if it is diamniotic, that means each fetus got its own um, amnion. Okay, so the, in case of twins, it's dichorionic, diamniotic. In case of if the fetuses don't have and fetuses share the one amnion, that means it's monoamniotic. Okay, right. So the point of discussing this thing here is we are going to discuss about the anastomosis. Right? That means that the connections between trans, um, the vascular systems that supply the different twins. Okay, right. So let's see what should be the ideal situation in this case. So ideal situation, just like an ideal society, it's like each and everyone should get their own needs, you know. Uh, in appropriate way so here also it's just like ideal environment would be both of the twins that means that both of the fetuses should get appropriate supply that means to maintain their growth and to grow ahead and to be delivered as very good baby and sustain life in future as well they need to have a proper blood supply of their own not much, not less, right? But now, due to vascular connections between these two fetuses, there is a difference between both of the twins' supplies. And that's why they got affected, right? So maybe some twin is getting more than required blood supply, while the other one is not actually having their blood supply. See? So this is how it happens. And that's called twin to twin transfusion syndrome. So there are multiple problems associated with this syndrome. So let's discuss about in general, first of all. Um, what we call it TTTS, that means a significant anastomosis between two twins vascular supply one twins get more supply that twin is called recipient twin if you see here this is a placenta right this is the fetus the fetus and placenta is connected by vascular supply chain or or, or what we call it umbilical cord the umbilical cord have veins and umbilical cord have arteries so the thing is the umbilical artery and umbilical vein. The umbilical artery, which, which, which you know, basically when you say artery, that that means that it should be used in terms from the fetuses. I mean, it is used, you know, from fetus point of view. So the the artery means the fetus is giving some blood to the placenta. Anyway, it is not oxygenated and it is just you know not got many nutrients and that and the other vessel that is umbilical vein that means the blood is coming from placenta to the fetus that is umbilical vein and that actually contains all of the oxygen nutrition everything right so here important is umbilical vein now so what I'm talking about here is the recipient fetus. That means the connection is there. 
one fetus receives more and more supplies of everything abundant amount of supplies for everything more than required it's called recipient twin so that recipient twin got more and more blood and that blood will definitely cause problem so the thing is if there is more blood presented to the fetus from umbilical vein then it goes directly into the inferior vena cava through ductus venosus so the the heart of the fetus who is recipient have to do more pumping right because it's getting more supply so the heart needs to pump so that's why it's there is more pumping of the blood by the heart and that's why you know in the body the circulation is you know in uh, abundant amount i mean it's going on 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 just like very active circulation in the recipient's baby that means that it will get more and more supply it will get more and more fluid so in the fetus will you know urinate more probably he will have ascites he will have pleural effusion generalized edema all the fluid overload thing okay in the fetus the recipient fetus but in donor twin the donor twin which which is giving away their share or some of their share of blood supply to the recipient twin they don't get too much fluid that's why they feel the signs of just like dehydration isn't it that means that they have anuria you know their urine formation goes down because they don't get enough fluids enough supplies and that's why the bladder is not filled and when you actually do the ultrasound of the pregnancy you won't find a bladder a visualized bladder because the bladder to get visualized we need fluid or we need urine inside it but in this case the donor twin we don't have any fluid so we cannot see the bladder most of the time and you know stunted growth because there are no more nutrients no more supplies now just to make you understand the fetal vasculature how this happens that means from the placenta the blood comes to the fetus through umbilical vein now this umbilical vein has to go and attached and you know has to go up to inferior vena cava which is the main vein of the body isn't it so now the umbilical vein connects through the inferior vena cava through through a duct called duct ductus venosus okay so ductus venosus is very important thing for all purposes as far as you know we do the ultrasound and doppler studies ductus venosus is very good because ductus venosus is nearby the right atrium so what actually you can see in ductus venosus can resemble the things going on in the right atrium okay so the blood flow is according to right atrium so this is just an information so that you can utilize this information for your future videos on you know let's say i will do on dopplers right now now let's go to taps what is taps taps means twins anemia polycythemia syndrome taps is one of the form of ttts where it's not that severe form of ttts it's a little bit milder form of ttts where i mean there is a there is anastomosis between arteries and veins of different fetuses that means that the donor twin here it loses the blood it loses you know the red cells and everything while the recipient twin gets more and more blood red cells so the donor twin will will have to suffer from anemia because it it gives away the blood supply through the arteriovenous anastomosis while the recipient twin 
receives more and more bloods blood cells resulting polycythemia okay now if you see the blood flows if you see the dopplers okay because whenever we diagnose as being a doctor we diagnose all these things through ultrasound and doppler studies dopplers is very very important when you actually diagnose all this anemia polycythemia in twins when the fetus we have to rule out things so the dopplers which is main doppler used for anemia is middle cerebral artery doppler and in the middle cerebral artery which is the most important parameter we measure is peak systolic velocity so if the peak systolic velocity is more than 1.5 more than 1.5 multiples of the normal median then you can call it more then we can say that the blood is flowing very fast to compensate anemia okay so if it if MCA PSV is increased more than 1.5 MOMs, we can say that the fetus is suffering from anemia, which the donor twin, you know, the donor fetus may, you know, usually goes for this sick poly. Now the recipient to, recipient twin will get more and more blood, so it has polycythemia. So the blood flow in MCA, the peras, let's say peak systolic velocity in MCA is actually less than 1.0 MOMs, right? So this is just an, you know, superficial information about TAPS. Now, now th then comes that SGR that we can say single fetus growth restriction. That means if we have twin pregnancy, especially monochorionic twin pregnancy where the placenta is the same but both of the twins are getting their own supplies from the placenta one of the fetus the growth of that fetus is not that much is not what we want so it is you know reta i mean restricted growth of one of the fetus this is one of the important feature of ttts as well isn't it now let's say how we define sgr Actually, when the growth discordance between two fetuses is more than 20%, then we safely say that it is SGR. Uh, depending on the Doppler studies, SGR can be, you know, divided or can be um, stagified, I would say, in three stages. Stage number one, which says that everything is still not that much problematic it's fine i mean it's going but it's there but it's a milder form of sgr where the fetal blood flows the umbilical artery blood flows are okay they are working so in that case we can go longer we can uh, we can go for a little bit longer wait for the delivery okay up to 34 36 weeks type 2 that means that the umbilical artery doppler of one or the both of the twins is either absent or reversed. That means from for the one fetus or the another fetus, for the both fetus, that there is a resistance in you. There is resistance, you know, let's say decrease flows or sometimes absent flows for some time in umbilical artery which is absolutely not a good thing so we might be concerned about the fetus viability now i mean no the the prognosis of the fetus and we have to look for early delivery by means of cesarean cyclic the third one cyclic that means that the flow is going up and down going up and down this is actually more severe condition so both in both cases stage 2 and stage 3 will go for early delivery up to 32 weeks now the third thing comes traps it's uh, uh if if i see let's say if i see the full form of traps uh reversed flow okay so let's let's you know let's try to understand what traps means in traps, one fetus has no cardiac activity.
the one fetus has no cardiac activity but it is getting supplied or the blood is pumped into it by the PT of other twin that means the other twins is taking care of both of the twins how cute that means that the, the fetus second fetus pumps blood into other twin as well right so unfortunately the fetus who has no cardiac let's say activity will have to suffer from you know problems isn't it actually that fetus is not a live fetus it's just getting some blood supply so when whenever we have a delivery we'll have problems okay guys so for now uh for now i mean uh, it's over in this video i will try to make videos in more details in these conditions in future so stay tuned guys isn't this thank you bye bye